Hello everyone, got a bit of a new setup, well sort of a new setup but not quite really. I've moved my um, uh, angle poise arm which holds the camera a little bit further away, further than my little um, renewed um, arm because this painting that I'm doing is massive. It is the toy shop. And it is humongous. And guess what? Do you want to see something surprising? I came down this morning to this. There you go. That was on the floor. Can you see it? That was on my floor. My sexy wang Ebo spare drills. This is my toy shop um, thing, which was on the, um, the, the Wang Ebo was down the side. There's no way that's going anywhere because that is really heavy. And this one was totally on my table. There was no way it should move. And on my table also, around about there, I had those and now they're on the floor they were on the floor at that angle and i went oh my god <laughs> desi have you come to say hello to me well next time come up to see me you know where i was that is exactly the kind of thing that desi would do knock everything off so i said hello to her and i thanked her so much Yes. Right, so let us see where I got to. Oh dear. Oh. Right. Got my tea. Oh yes, got my tea. I missed Wanda's hand baskets or work baskets. Wanda's work baskets um last night. Mind you, it was two o'clock in the morning and actually for a change i think i was asleep at that point so um yeah a bit frustrating but at any rate never mind as they say never mind right let us see i can't believe that desi visited me last night didn't come and say hello oh naughty pussy cat It's either that or it's a poltergeist. Because those scissors were a little bit scary. <laughs> Ooh, mind you, it's weird. Last night I heard cats fighting. Maybe that wasn't outside. Was my Desi fighting another cat in my house? Another rainbow cat? My God. That is Oh God, don't start, please. I don't, I don't want ghosties in my house. <laughs> um, that's weird. That could... That was so weird. No, I'm sure that was outside. But it's very strange because we don't usually hear. You know, there's never usually any cats out fighting. Because not at that time. Huh. Oh. Hmm. I've asked my neighbour whether it was Mally or Dexter, but they usually go in at a certain time. Very strange. Hmm. Right, Desi. Oh, poor Desi. Now I worry about you and your afterlife. Are you being bullied? Oh. Hmm. 
Hmm. Well, oh my word. This morning I had a text telling me that my art and soul is at the port in China. My art and soul paintings. Flipping neck. I am so pleased and happy. To be fair, depending on what they, they look like, I probably won't be buying from them again. Not at present. Because I just... Yeah, I can't wait that long. I'm impatient when it comes to diamond paintings. So I'm... It would all depend on what they're like. I mean, it's been about a month. 23rd of July, I ordered these two. And I'm... Yeah, I've seen another one that I quite fancied from um, Erin's diamond painting, but I'm not going to. I'm going to be very good because, A, I don't know how long that'll take to get to me. And I've got enough. I've got to finish the ones I have got. That is for sure. So... Yes. Oh dear. Right, is that that one? Yes. I need to wake up. I really do. Ugh. Yeah, I can see. Oh, this is the pixie dust. Sorry, I'm yawning again. Pixie dust. I seem to wake up even more tired when I've sort of had a semi decent night's sleep. And it is very frustrating. I really do. <sighs> right, let me... Ah, well, they've come and picked up my Hoover tool because I phoned up Amazon yesterday. I don't know if I said anything. I phoned up. Oh, yeah, I got Amazon to, to call me and um, I asked them about it. And um, and I said, because my post office is having um, issues, should we say, with staff at the minute. Uh, one left. And uh, then somebody went down sick, apparently, and um, probably sick and tired of the job. And um, so they didn't have enough staff. So it's hit and miss whether they're going to be open or not. And you never know. And I'm not going all the way up there on my scooter or calling them every day to find out whether they're opening, what their opening t hours are. It's just a little bit too much. So I am... Um, phoned up Amazon and said look there's only you know I I can't do the post office so um can they send me instead of a um a flipping QR code I said can you send me a proper oh look there's some J's I missed 
can you send me a proper oh forget that side a proper um uh, you know a label shipping label and they said and I says, I said, oh, yes, we can do that. I says, yeah, but I don't want to be paying the £1.99 because it's only a £5.89 tool. By the time, you know, £1.99 gets taken off of it, it's ridiculous. And I said, oh, no, 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 we can send you one out and you won't have to pay the one ninety nine. But, um... Ah, yes, so, um, so, yeah, it's, um, I lost my train of thought. Um, yes, so, um, they said, oh, no, it won't cost you one ninety nine. I said, oh, please make sure you, it doesn't because, um, you know, it's ridiculous otherwise. And, um, they said, no, 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 don't worry. So I'm hoping that's sorted. <laughs> So I give it a couple of hours or an hour or so after I've um, after they've collected. They collected earlier. So it's just as well I got up because I'd only been up and had me had me shake. Oh dear, a little bit late, but well. That's fine. Um, wow, a minimum order is one roll or folded piece. Oh, that's okay. That's good. Oh, I'm having to get all my um, old fabric um, wholesalers back up and running again because of certain things that I want to do. And I'm um, trying to remember... And I used to get some Macauer, um cotton fabric. Decent, it's decent. And um, and so I went to Macauer, but I can't find the wholesale login. So I thought, oh, did I get it through another company? And I might have done, but I can't remember which. So short of going back through all my old, old emails from years ago, Oh dear, it's a pain in the butt. But that's one that's just come back and said, fine. Because they changed their um, website over. So I remember getting an, an email quite a f few years back saying that if you want to continue, um, you know, you have to reapply. And I never did. So um, I've done it now. So that's that one. Good, 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 good. And then there's only certain things that I need. <sighs> but well, um, <sighs> so I still haven't figured out who Macau was. But then I did get some other fabric, Kloner fabric, I think it was called Kona or Kloner fabric and it was similar to um mac hours but it was a lot cheaper so um but i can't remember which company i got that from i thought it was this company that i did but i can't see it there mm. oh dear <laughs> right what was i doing what was i doing oh bugger can't remember what i was doing Oh, I might have been going heading towards Amazon. Amazon. Oh God, I ordered some things yesterday, last night. Oh, what? Why do I do this? Oh goodness. 
Random or what? No, it's not in yet. Oh, God, that is just too random for words. Too random. But there again, I did get... Um, now, I know I'm hoovering and I'm spraying and I'm doing that kind of stuff. But because my house is quite jumbled, should we say, I don't think my hoovering is getting everything from what Desi left behind me. So I've ordered, um, it's a trap. It's a thing with a light bulb and a heat source and a sticky pad. And apparently um, fleas get enticed to it and they do it. So I've got one of those and I've got a couple of flea bombs. One for upstairs and one for downstairs just to um, give me a, you know, just to sort of hopefully end them for good. Because I keep hoovering and I keep, and I think because the place is a bit cluttered, it's not working. So I thought, well, if I flea bomb, it's these canisters, you press the button down, you leave the house with all the windows sh shut, and then you um, leave the house for a few hours while it takes in. It's supposed to be, um, um, What's the word? Zero. Zero in flea killer. Poison free treatment. See how well that works, shall we? But yeah. That's the thing. Plugs in. Apparently it's supposed to, um, what's the word, access, attracts fleas from carpets and bedding using a gentle heat to mimic host animals. Yes, lovely topic, isn't it? <clears throat> but well, that is what I have did. And... Let's see what else I ordered, shall I? So I did that one. I did the flea bombs. Oh, I've ordered some laminating pouches. I've got loads of laminating pouches. Oh, I give up with that one. What else? Um, a fusible fleece interfacing. Fusible foam stabiliser for bags. White medium weight. See, that's something that I wanted to look on, on my fabric site for. Because I want to do those um, quilt as you go little, um, they're like little pillows you make. So you have a bigger piece of fabric, say, and say if that was smaller. So you have a bigger piece of fabric, say that's a pattern bit, and then on the back of this you'd have your your fusible fleece and then you would then fold that over and fold it in and then you would sew around once it's all so sewn in so you're making lots of little pillows and then you sew them together and that's what I want to do that's hand stitching mainly so um that is what I want to do yes you can do that with machine but I wanted to do a bit of hand a bit of hand so Oh, did I order that from the other place? I don't know, because I saw some lovely, um, was it a layer cake? I hope it was a layer cake, because layer cakes can be chopped down into four lots of charm packs. Let us see. I am sidetracking big time, aren't I? That's not it. It's one of these windows. Oh, my God. Yesterday, I was so hungry. I really was. I was, um thinking I'm going to treat myself. It was a weigh-in day and I thought, no, I'll treat myself to a um, takeout because it's the day after the weigh-in day and um, and I'll go and get a Chinese because um, there's this like, um, what was it? Pork, cashew nuts, rice, something or other. And it's, it's yummy. 
that yeah that oh it didn't come with the rice and then i was going to get the beef special fried rice to then mix it all in because that is absolutely yummy and i mean yes there'd be loads there and i could have had some another day you know so um but when i went there must have been must have been right because of all the days it was a, a day off they said we're closed all day today and i went <laughs> and then I thought, I've got that fish. So I shoved the fish in the oven, the other fish, and that did better because that is 200 calories. And I, um, I'd already missed one of my meals in the morning because I woke up too late. So yesterday I had my 800. <sighs> Where is it? get it where the hell is it hmm right let's go to that and we will try and close some of these down uh, no that's that one that's that oh shoot I think it was that one I wanted and I've just closed out of it Bugger. shoot um Nope, that wasn't it. Bugger, bugger, bugger. Mm. What is going on? Oh yeah, I forgot I ordered that and I've ordered another little um, AliExpress paint gem mini job thing. So I should be getting that soon. Let's see, track order, where's that? It's departed from customs, leaving transit country region. So that should be on its way. Copy every ah they're expecting it right because what i did oh that's friday the 16th let's track another parcel and maybe it'll be updated they do not hey so it can't be them. So who's this? Oh God, I'm so confused. This isn't getting my painting done, is it? No, it isn't. So I will sort that out later. Right, so back to where we were. Cutting the mustard. I want to do that work. Oh dear. Right, I haven't had my slurp of my tea yet today, so um, I'm going to pour one. Oh God. Realised yesterday, I made a cup of tea, didn't I? And, um, oh yeah, drank it. Oh, that's a bit odd flavoured. Oh, I don't didn't think anything of it. Went to go and get a, another cup. Opened it up, no tea bag. <laughs> so basically, I'd had hot water. Classic. <laughs> yes. Note to self always check tea bag first, water after. So I must have been very um, sidetracked. Well, I 
lost three pounds just under three pounds actually on tuesday so despite me having the fish last week you know i i did actually all right Oh, my hair's got to be trimmed. Little strands keep tickling me and it's so horrible. Just the mere slightest touch and it, oh God, it's awful. I have to get my hair. I have to do it again. Oh dear. Get in there. No, what are you doing? It's because it's rolled up. That bit is rolled up so it's a bit going at an angle. Oh, for God's sake, it's this hair. My dry skin in my ears didn't help. Oh my God. I get eczema or put psoriasis in places. It's usually on my scalp and my elbow. And especially when stressed, I get it on my elbow. But it's not too bad. It's under control at the moment on my elbow, my head, but my ears. Oh, God. Mm. Yeah, so I think that's why when my hair sort of tickles my face, it just doesn't, it just sets off the itching that I already have. Sensitive skin and all that jazz. Oh dear. I'm so very tempted to go up to one of these barber shops and just say, right, go on. Take me hair, it'll grow back. <laughs> Do with it what you want. If you want to style it, you go for it. But I need it short around the ears. But well, all right. Get on. I don't know if I'm still in shot. Yes, I am. Just. Mm. Ooh, look at that. That's why I'm going to squeeze it over and then it's all going to go. Pew. We all know what that's like. Oh, that's that bit. Let's do that other little bit next to it, I think. Come on. There we go. Right, there we go. That can go back under. I don't think there's any more. I opened... Oh, yes, there is. I only opened up a small little section because this was yesterday. And I did some of it last night. I finished the bit up over the other side. But, um... Yeah, and I thought I'll do a little bit more and then I kind of like realised the time and I thought, no. You see, that's the thing. If I have to wait to a certain time for to have my last meal, my last shake, then I will, you know, just done paint. I've got my compression socks on today because I were, my blood pressure was pretty low yesterday. And um, so I think that's perhaps why I was feeling all whatnot was because of it. And I've been drinking, so, you know, that couldn't have been... Well, I mean, I haven't been drinking m as much as I perhaps should have been. So that was perhaps some of it. But, um, but yeah, so because it was low, it was something like... Um, see, I'm usually 110 over 70. That is my standard. I mean, literally, it's like that. I can go to the doctors and they, and I'll say, it's usually 110 over 70. And when they do it, bingo, it's it's bang on or it's one digit up or one digit down. 
but yesterday it was something like 93 over 66 or 68 65 something like that so I thought Ooh. and then I did it again and then it was like 97 was it 98 no 97 not nine yes 97 and I thought mm, that is pretty low so I was doing some reading and they recommended to put the um put compression socks on because that will help um get the circulation you know going and I used to wear my because I know I sit down for a lot of the day doing my diamond painting so I used to wear um my compression socks and then there was a while where I took them off because I wanted my feet sort of um you know not always be <laughs> slurped and um and then I put them on last night and oh that's perhaps why I slept nicely feeling the security around my legs and especially around my bad ankle the one which I broke smashed even but yes yeah, so um Right, let's do W's. Serious. It was. So I'm hoping that's. Actually, I know I've had my dinner and everything else. I redid it again last night, didn't have to do. Let's see, shall we? Shall we have a laugh? and see what it is because when they're on when you're on this diet they give you the kit they just don't do any of the monitoring boom boom right got that on right Getting tighter. Hundred over sixty three. Well, well, I'm optimal for my heart. Optimal normal, optimal. Oh, I didn't know that. That little man, I suppose, will go up each time. Or the little arrow will. Well, either way, 163. Hmm. It's gone up a bit, isn't it? Not much, but we'll, we'll keep an eye on that. And I will then... I didn't make an appointment with the doctors because, well, I was like calling number... What was I? 24 in the queue and I just thought mm. yeah <laughs> oh, I could have put that one underneath Yeah, it's, um, I'm doing W's, aren't I? Yes. <laughs> oh, dear. Craft group tomorrow, and we're supposed to be doing some knitting, I think, so...
So what am I waiting? I'm waiting today. I'm waiting for my prescription. That's what I was going to check up earlier. My prescription. Oh, my pit money went in yesterday and went out yesterday. Oh, dear. Yep, it's been done on the 19th. So it should be on its way. I've got enough for a panel. I've got enough for last me a lifetime. And and I've just realised I ordered some more and I didn't mean to. It's because what what tends to happen is that I occasionally will um not take my um my middle three so in the middle of the day around about four o'clock was when i would take my my middle dose it's another three but occasionally i don't take it because i don't feel like uh, i either miss the time and so of course i've got extra you know, because I've missed it a few times, quite a few times actually, I should think. And then a couple of times you go in to see the doctor. When I've gone in to see the doctor, I said, oh yes, can I have blah, blah, blah. And um, I've only asked for one of my things that way. And um, I had to go in and ask for my, um, what was it, disunning vitamin D. And because when they were having it, having problems getting hold of it, and so I... I had to go in and ask the doctors for a different prescription which didn't say disunin so I could at least get some because they're having difficulty and then of course when when they came back in stock I'll be okay again you know I, I can go back but I couldn't take my you know whatever so um what he did was he gave me a whole complete prescription again and I say to him I says I've got I've got enough for a panel I've got enough <coughs> no, and he says oh well you're just you've just got more now you just won't run out I went, oh, okay so um yeah and of course each time I've gone in and I've keep forgetting and I keep because I just it's all there in one go and I just hit you know repeat bump. Uh, and luckily it's free for me so um It does mean then that if there are any shortages, I won't get so stressed out like I did during COVID when lots of shortages happened and I was thinking, oh my God, don't want my medication running out. Especially my propanol because that is one for my anxiety. I mean, yes, the citalopram I didn't want to, but propanol seemed to be the one that seemed to have quite a few problems over at one point, especially the brand that I I usually get. So I had to make do with getting um, their other brands, because usually I go for the Teva brand, which is perfect. It's coated, it's, it's, it doesn't give me any um, stomach issues. And that's 
part of why I think I kept getting that gastritis and duodenitis was because my um my tablets weren't resistant. No, whatever. Can't find any more over here. No. Oh look, there's a W. This is this. Oh, this is W. Nearly missed it. I was looking for the other blasted thing. Right, let's look again for W's. No. No more W's there. Right. Oh, look. Why not put him away? Hmm. Hmm. I should finish this bit and then I shall, I think, do another different, um, <gasps> pardonnez-moi, different painting. Might do another one to my um, knock-off paint gems. But again, I suppose I really should crack on and do some more of my sexy wangy bow. Yeah. Yeah, I can't wait to get that um that whatnot pitch, you know, those paintings from Art and Art and Soul. Yours. Oh, come on, don't start flattening the old. Patty down. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's quite a. Oh, there goes my hair again. Mmm. I'm going to get my face cream out again and I'm going to have to lather my face up. Oh, feeling a bit dry. about gosh silence yeah I don't know what what am I on my I think I'm down Um, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that was it. 22.9 pounds I'm down. Which I had thought it would be a little bit more. But... Well... Better than nothing. I got my next load of um, supplies and my follow-on reintroduction supplies. So that's something. <clears throat> Oh, 
of the things I'm craving now. Thing is, I really liked my Domino's where I'd get a um, gluten-free pizza. It's about a nine inch one, or was it 11 inches? I can't remember, nine inch one. About that big. And it and seven chicken wings. And um and I'll have that. And then I would eat all that, used to, whereas now I think half of that I could do with. And because there's only me, the other half, I don't particularly want to have, you know, the other half following day. So I know I'd end up eating it just to, so it didn't go you know, a bit bleh. And it's such a waste as well. And so half of me thinks I'm going to end up eating that. All if I order it. So I'm going to have to... Um... Now, what would be good would be if you go into like Morrison's or Tesco's or various places like that, they do their... um basic little pizzas which i always think you know like for kids about that big now if i can find some pizza bases like that which are gluten-free that size that'd be brilliant but the problem is it's a bit like you know if i don't want to cook and i just want to take away the portions are going to be massive the only one that will be cool will be tuesdays which I'd probably go back on to actually, but then I would only get the light bite version. I mean, in the past, I started off getting the light bite version, which is like kids' portion small gluten free fish and um, small chips. And, um, you know, and then for some strange reason, well, not strange reason, it's just how it went, my appetite got a bit bigger as I got bigger basically. And so I then went on to the large portion. So I could go back to the small portion, but that's only every Tuesday, which is mm. fine because that means then that, that I'm only, you know, having a small takeaway meal on that day. But I'm a little bit concerned because at the moment we're on 800 calories a day, which is nothing really. And when you go back to eating, yeah, I could try and find 800 calories. But if I want to continue losing weight, you know, I can't go up to say, you know, 1200 or 1500, I don't think, because, you know. I probably won't lose anything at that rate. So I don't know. This is where most diets always fail. Because whilst you can lose it in the in the first bit, you know, it when it goes back on, it goes back on more. As I found out with everything I've done, like Slimming World, Rosemary Connolly. I haven't done Weight Watchers because, well, it's, you know, to me it's, you know, I just, it's just another one. I've tried doing bits sort of in the past, not proper Weight Watchers, but I got their Weight Watchers foods and I gave myself a, you know, a pointage of how much and, um, and I found some books on um, on eBay, I think it was. So I sort of did it, not officially, shall we say. But yeah, I did lose a little bit, a very little bit, but I put back on again. So I am. Um, I need to stick to sorting out my carbs. 
And I've done all kinds of other ones. I've done um, eat for your type, um, as in your blood type. Um, carb cycling, I think I had better luck with. And now that was good because it's the carbs that do it, isn't it? We all know that. The carbs are the ones that, um, that create us to put on the weight. And um, so I basically found this app and it was, um, you put in your weight, etc., And then it would tell you roughly how many calories you needed. And then what it would do was carb cycling meant that during the week you, um, you ate a certain amount of calories and some, and some days you would eat less. And some days you would eat more, as long as it all averaged out to the amount of calories that you were supposed to have in that week. So, you know, whatever it says. And, and so I did that, and that I had quite a bit of success on, actually. Uh, but then, as like anything, my body got used to it when it was, you know, because the carb cycling never changed. It was always the same day that you'd be having more on and the same, you know, whatever. So I used to make it Friday nights would be my date when I take more because then I'd, I used to have me take away and me, um, at the time, me, me wine. And it was the wine that did it. I don't drink anymore. I haven't drunk for a number of years now. But, um, yeah. When I was on the Prozac, it said, um, no, no alcohol. So, um, yeah, I, um, lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, so then I would um, change it up a bit and I would just, I would work out how many calories I was allowed the week. And then I would um, mix. It was again. That was a noise that I could have sworn is like when uh, Desi used to shake herself. My God. Hi, Desi. Or is it Dad? Sorry, Dad, if I'm blaming... You haven't been fighting with Desi, have you? <laughs> no, you wouldn't. But she might you, because she never met you, had she? No. Anyway. Yeah, so... um. Yeah, so then I would probably... um. Then I would mix it up a bit. So I'd create my own cycle, carb cycles. So, you know, they were always changing. So each week it would be on a different day. You know, when I'd have the most or when I'd have less. So, yeah, I think I'm going to have to look at, back at that. And of course, Carb Manager was a good app. I mean, I had the free version. I think they've since started saying you can pay. But um, I only ever had the free option. And that was good because you could... um. look up lots of foods and then it will tell you and it give you the carbs of it and all the breakdown and then it will fit it into the um into the app for you which was good yeah Oh, dear, get in there. But 
We will see. You know, because I could just stop now and go on to proper food. And um, I've still got the stuff in the cupboard, so I can still um, go back onto it. You know, alternatively have, you know, a couple meals a day. And that would last a while. Because I don't mind the vanilla and the... Um, and the um, strawberry. Yeah. I don't know. I'll have to see. I'll have to think about it. There's a long row of S's. I thought I'd done them all. Right, let's try and get this. Don't clump together now, boys. Two. Right, that should do. Oh, one shy and not sticking. Right, you're down. You're down, boys. Right, is that it? Yeah, because I think I fancy now. I fancy I've done quite a few bits to quite a few big ones. This one, Secret Temple. Um, I haven't done Rainbow Cove. I might do Rainbow Cove for a bit. A little bit on that one. I'm trying to do a bit on each of my big ones. Oh, and I've got Piggy in a tub. And her to do. Hmm. But we will see. Let me pour in another splurge of tea, okay? I don't get any funny ideas. Oh, look. My these turned up. I don't know if I showed them to you. Yes. Okay. Oh, and... Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Oh, what's that doing there? 8865, I don't know what that's doing out. Where are they? Oh, oh there we are. These, these ones turn up. I don't, I prefer the other ones that I had. I'll have to try and get some more, but these ones turn up. They work out okay. I mean, oh dear, come back in. I don't want you all flying out. Right. So, if this had an extra, you know, say like that, then I would get a label, stick it on there, write the name of the um, the painting, and then it just sits there. Now, you can push it down so it stays put. The other corks fit a lot better, but these are a little bit loose. But it's sort of just as a bit of a, you know, to name that this painting is, you know, this one is Holiday Shop. So I could have sworn it was called the Toy Shop. It said Toy Shop on the bottom here, didn't it? Oh, no, it does say Holiday Shop. Oh. Right, yes, so that's... um. Basically, so that's what I do. So, you know, you can get these anyway. You can get them in, um, like, where you can get your your wine brewing kits or whatever, your beer brewing kits and things like that. I got these off of Timu. So, um, you know, and they were something like £1.60 for a whole bag. So, a bag. As they say. Right, let's get on with this because this is not getting this done, is it? And I want to, um, oh my God, we're already on an hour. And a lot of that has been just me waffling on. All right. This one. I've done four. 
Oh dear, I only meant to pick up three. Oh, there's a four. Yeah. Silent noise, but click, click, click. Another click. Three, get in straight, you little oik. I won't do Rainbow Cove. I shall do one of my mandala from Timu. Yeah, I've ordered another uh, another one from um, AliExpress this time. I can't remember which one was it. Which one was it? It was... So Timu and AliExpress are going to be exactly the same. Ah, I saw something saying about Timu versus AliExpress and um, Timu seems to be losing the battle, should we say. AliExpress, yeah, AliExpress charges a little bit more. They charge for tax, certain tax, because when you get to one page, it gives you this, pay, this um, amount of what they are. And then you go on to the next page where do either if there's any shipping and you know like checkout and there's shipping and um and stuff like that and then it'll also do like a bit of tax so it does charge some which i think is a good thing yeah it makes it not as cheap but at the same point you know i feel like it's a little bit more and i'm used to shopping on on um aliexpress uh yeah I think AliExpress um, supports its sellers a lot better than, should we say, Timu. Timu sellers were encouraged to put very, very, very low prices on everything. Um, so that their stuff would then be highlighted more and sell. And so it's, you think, hmm. Look at that, dots falling out. So, um. So yes, so I'm I'm thinking hmm, has Timu actually had its day sort of since then? It's so confusing, Timu. I don't know if anybody has ever sussed out their um, their coupons and coins and money off things. You know, I had one which said yes, I can pick a couple of free items. So I thought perfect. I went in, picked them, thinking that's it. I can just go through checkout and say free, and it'll deliver me. No. I apparently still had to apply um, and use so much. I still had to buy stuff to get those free items. And then several times I've won these, whatever, thousand percent coins or whatever it is. And um, they haven't honoured it. It's always off for your next purchase. And then when you go and look at it, your next purchase is, has nothing to do with your coupons because basically like it transferred it to coupons well for me that's how it worked out i never sussed it out and um and it was always the stuff that it was asking for was was um you know that it said i could use the coupons for but i'd have to use x amount of money i'd still have to pay lots of money to basically get coupons so it's it's a con it really is a con you know, you do actually, in the end, spend more that way. So now, whenever I see coupons and things like that, I ignore it. I go, feck off, I'm not doing it. And then you get a wash with emails. I've I've basically cancelled my emails from them because then it just started getting a wash saying, oh, you know, the boss has asked me to say this because you've you've missed out they only give you a day or so to use it because they're hoping then you're going to feel oh my god uh i gotta i gotta i gotta get this 
special deal so I've got to buy more and so you then pressured into buying more and you still don't get the coupons off yeah it says you get you know it says oh yeah you've got x amount off you know but you haven't because the the money you it says you know you've saved is just basically it's not been it's not been done or they've turned around and said oh yes this item we're selling it for one pound 68 and that would be the price on its page it's like one pound 68 you know and um and then when you get the other thing it says yes it should have been whatever amount but you got it you got this amount off to be able to buy it at 168 and you just sort of think well that's the price it was it was you know sold as at so they do better i think you know putting the full price in that bit you know on the page that you go and choose and then you will actually see as if you're getting the money off but you're not but yes yeah, so um yeah no i'm i'm peed off with that i have had um i've got i mean aliexpress do coins but it's a lot less complicated and it's not reliant on, you know, on, you know, they don't, they don't force you into doing it. What do I mean? Or feel, you know, feel pressured into doing it. No, you get coins off, um, sort of regardless. And so you sort of think, okay, I've got coins off regardless so it doesn't matter you know and it'll add coins on so whatever savings you do take it always takes them off so you know it'll add you know your savings and it'll say you know you've saved one pound such and such on this and i'd far sooner that because at least you know where you're at so um yeah so in my mind, AliExpress is the way to go, to be honest. I'm looking for those lines, aren't I? That's it. Right, that's that. <sighs> so if anybody has sussed out Timu and how to work it to their advantage, let me know in the comments. No, I was going to do that black one, wasn't I? It's just one. Oh, is that it? No, that's a green. There we go. Gotcha, you little week. Right, let us do a four. a four. I'm going to get an eight out. Yep, there's eights and there's fours. Right, I do like this colour. Grey blue. Nice, smoky cornflower, dark cornflower. Yeah. Come on, flatten down. Gotcha. My little beauty. Ooh. No, go away. And there we have, that is the fours done. Part of the outside of the brick shop. Tell you what, doing these um, down here and down the other side and in the middle, I mean in the middle there are 
four rows thick of ones, which are ABs, and I do ABs, fire um, tweezers, and it's like, oh, <laughs> why do I do it by tweezers? Because I'm so fed up of doing it with um, with put my putty or whatever, the glue dots, mainly, because on those I would do it as like a multi-placer, and if I did it with putty, the putty ends up sticking on top of the drills and you then have to spend ages picking it off and it all doesn't come off, doesn't always come off. Mm. Uh, right, eight. Yeah. Four, five, six. Right there, so get in there. Uh, oh, missed, nearly missed two. Jeez. Jeez, Louise, as Sherman Potter would say. Right, so that's that. Right. Oh dear, I'm going to do those two dots. And then I think I'm going to stop filming. I will continue this. And... I'm definitely going to take up my um, fleece tonight because I was a bit chilly yesterday. So if I wear my fleece at night time, oh, I'm going to be snug as a bug in a rug. Four. All right, are there any more of that before I go on to this pen? Yeah, it's, I do quite like this pen. It's the right sort of chunk as well. I think they must have had spent some time in devising it and you know getting it how they want it to be and working. Oh, there's some four. Right, that's that done. Maybe I'll do the um the whatnots, the percentages because there are only four of them. I say there are only four of them, and then next time I look up I'm gonna see about another three hundred of them. No, no, not this time. Right. So on that note, I'm going to love you and leave you. If you wouldn't mind, please, doing the like, commenting, subscribing, definitely subscribing, and ask your friends, if you wouldn't mind, um, to subscribe. And um, I will see you very soon in the next one because I need to get to that magic 1,000 so then I can, you know, start being monetized, as they say, so I can get a bit of a, bit of a, an income coming in any rate onwards and upwards love you all take care and um happy diamond painting and have fun love you all bye